Hi, I'm Yannick from Vasho Photography and in this video we'll show you our new favorite canvas backdrop. So earlier this year we saw for the first time the new Savage canvas backdrop at WPPI in Las Vegas and we instantly fell in love with it. Uh, there were a few reasons why we love these backdrops so much. Uh, one, um, all the canvas backdrops are hand painted uh, and as you can see it's very uh, subtle tone changes across the background uh, and they do uh, come in two sizes one is the 8x12 this is this one so you can see the size how it looks and this is the 5x7 backdrop uh, the paint is very nicely distributed across uh, the canvas backdrop and it has still a very nice texture so it kind of maintains the texture of the of the canvas uh, after it being painted, I'm sure, multiple times, you know, for, for a few, la few layers, and then to have a nice tonality in these backdrops. Um, the smaller one, the, the smaller backdrop, which is the 5x7, uh, we usually use them for three quarters portraits or headshots. We also use this backdrop um, on location during Comic Con here in San Diego. And then the big, the big one, this is the 8x12. Uh, this can be useful for uh, full body uh, portraits or uh, we combine sometimes the two backdrops together to form a corner. Uh, basically we have two, two, um, two backdrop stands, uh, one for the shorter one and uh, this is the longer one for the, for the larger backdrop and um, we use like a corner setup for our portraits. The backdrops, the canvas backdrops uh, from Savage they come in seven colors. Uh, this is, I believe, uh, the ash color. And this is, and this is the eclipse uh, backdrop. We also have um, another one here. This is, I believe, the Marcella it's called. Let me just show you quickly how this color looks in real life. Um, so it's a little bit kind of reddish reddish feel of this backdrop. Actually this one, and Sasha corrected me, but this one has more of a wine, red wine. Uh, I, I think it's between red and purple feel, uh, but it definitely has a red wine kind of tint to it. So I'm gonna fold this one back. Um, a few things that are really cool about these backdrops. Uh, so one, it ha they do have those Velcros at the end. So what, when you roll this backdrop, it's very easy uh, to close them and just hold it like that. Uh, the second thing that's really, uh, really nice about these backdrops is uh, the metal tube that those backdrops are attached to. Um, and you can see on the top, those are the metal tube for the, for the backdrop. Um, they actually provide a lot of stability and durability to this backdrop. Uh, basically, you don't have to risk uh, for the main tube to break or anything like that, you know, due to its weight. Uh, they put a very solid, uh, solid, I, I don't know if it's what kind of ma uh, material it is, maybe it's aluminum, but it's very hard, uh, very solid tube uh, for the background. And then the, the last thing that is really cool about it is the, uh, at the bottom, and you can see also in the, the ones that are already hanging here, uh, at the bottom of the backdrop, there are the, board, the attached boards here. And uh, one, these boards are helpful when you roll it so that you know, the, the canvas roll nicely on the, on the roll. But what's more important that when you roll down this canvas, this serves as a counterweight uh, for the backdrop. So you don't have to attach any weights to the bottom of the, of the canvas because the board serves um, this purpose so it's actually very useful and it actually stre stretches the canvas very nicely to the bottom um, you see here uh, on the other side of this canvases let me let me show you here so in this corner setup here you can see the boards are in the bottom uh, so they they nicely pull the weight of the canvas if uh, for example, you do a full body and you want to, um, you don't want to display the board in your photo. Basically what you have to do is just pull this canvas and roll it the opposite way. So it's like something like that. 
and, and bring it down a little bit. And this way you will not see the board in your photo. It's gonna be kind of like a nice, uh, smooth transition to the floor. Um, so those are the, the main things about the, the canvases. As I mentioned before, we use this one um, on location on the street here in San Diego during Comic-Con. Um, it actually performs super well. And I'll just, uh, in just a couple of seconds, I'll show you different examples of how we shot against the Savage uh, canvas backdrops. So let's go and jump into the photos now. Okay, so these are some sample images that we shot against the Savage background, uh, the canvas backdrop. Uh, the first two, so let me just put them together. Uh, so these were uh, against the uh, the red wine kind of color, the Marsala uh, canvas backdrop that we have. Uh, this is the eight by twelve that we have in our studio, but uh, this one is available actually five by seven and um, and uh, eight by eight by twelve. So. Uh, but this is a very nice color. Depending how much light you let into it, it the, cha the color changes a little bit. So you can see that the one on the right has a little bit more reddish, uh, kind of purplish feel to it. And then the one that we block a little bit the light, it has more muted colors. Uh, the next three here, these photos, uh, those photos we take out of our uh, um, of Manzel, this was against the ash color, and uh, this is the five by seven that we have. So this is the smaller one, but you can see for the for the headshot, it actually works really nicely. It's it's a little bit you know it has this nice uh, uh, variation in in um, in tonality in the background uh, that actually looks very nice in the photo. The next two. Also of Manzel, but this one we shot against the Eclipse uh, canvas backdrop. This is the color uh, Eclipse, so it's a little bit darker, um, and it's it's a little bit similar. If you compare this, for example, this uh, the Eclipse and the Ash, um, it's similar, but obviously the uh, the Eclipse are, it's a little bit darker compared to the Ash, and the Ash in some of the areas have this kind of um, you know, reddish brownish feel uh, spots, while the eclipse definitely has a it's a much darker darker background uh, canvas backdrop, and we actually use it for for dogs as well. So the eclipse works really nice with uh, with darker dogs here. But you know, even if you have a a, a dog that has a much brighter fur, it will actually photograph against the eclipse uh, color pretty well. The next few, those are the ones that we mentioned that we photographed during Comic-Con here in San Diego. Uh, so we just took the 5 by 7 backdrop and just put it in the middle of the street. It was a little bit windy that day, so we had to um, really tie it up on the side because the wind was picking up the canvas. It doesn't matter what kind of backdrop you have with a windy environment. Um, the uh, the backdrop is always challenged with a with a stand. It serves as a big sail, so we had to really put a lot of uh, sandbags and then the clips on the side. Uh, but luckily, because of the bar in the bottom, uh, the backdrop stayed pretty straight. As you can see, every you know every single photo, uh, the background is actually uh, well hang and is pretty straight. And it kind of gives a good separation against the environment uh, when you photograph on the street. And this is, again, this is the ash color. So this is the 5x7 uh, field. Uh, and then the last one that we have, actually not the last one, the last uh, four here for our friend Camilla, we combined here the eclipse and ash. Uh, so this is the ashes on this side. Eclipse is on this side, um, and the so this is we, we form like a a corner out of the two canvases. So it's a it's a pretty nice. Uh, it's a little bit different feel of a background, uh, but it's pretty cool because you know they both have texture and a variation and a tonality. Um, this one it's a little bit darker. So let me show you. So and these are unretouched. These are basically straight from camera photos. So we we did not retouch these photos at all. But just wanted to see how this looks without any color grading applied to it. So these are the the individual uh, photos of Camilla. Um, 
the next ones you see uh this is a this are these photos are a little bit color graded so but it's still you can see uh this one was uh we used the eclipse uh back backdrop here the, the canvas backdrop so it's a little bit darker uh, and you can see with the much brighter subject you know the, the darker that darker canvas looks really nice so uh, you know you can give depending how much light you get on this um, on the backdrop you have a slightly different feel to it so it's a great um, it's a uh, great backdrop to give you a lot of different feels without having the same results okay so these are the few photos that we want to show you like real life examples of the savage canvas backdrops so uh, if you enjoy this video if you have any questions about these canvases please leave a comment below uh, send us any questions uh, we are happy to help here uh, the canvases are available in seven different colors and I'm I think they are uh, available directly through Savage on their website, but they're also available through B&H. I'm not sure through Amazon, but you know, all the major uh, photography retailers, they should have it. Mm -hmm.